Hello, it is the 17th of March, 2011. Welcome to today's Silver Analysis, the Silver Log. It is roughly around 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And this is what the silver market's looking like today. And I'll start off with the daily chart. We'll look at gold. We'll look at the ratios. And within this particular chart, what... I think is noticeable in my end is the lower highs. Starting from this point in here, the only higher high that has occurred was this little tick in here. Other than that, it's been lower high on every single session, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lower highs and one higher high. And the level of support here at 34 which was a level of resistance has been tested on many different occasions. It was resistance in here, resistance became support on the liftoff, and then it came, comes back after the liftoff to find support again. The more often that you test support, the more likely it is that it will be taken out. That doesn't mean that it will. It's really starting to correct mainly through time more than anything and if it can hold the 34 then that's exactly what the correction will be will be that of a sideways consolidation we'll get more to that when we take a look at the chart on the hourly perspective now as far as the uh, daily volatility is concerned the uh, trend line or the noticeable one on uh, this one here is really mainly something in the area of like this we're getting a little bit of extra volatility we'll see if this can continue to play out overall nothing abnormal as far as what the market is telling us the rate of ascent for the 50-day moving average showing a really a nice little pattern here after it uh, had its downward move if you look at this sort of like a stock index would be or any type of chart you uh Make, you make this pattern in here of higher highs, higher lows, come back down to previous resistance and lift higher. That's a classic bullish trend. And what this uh, tells us is from day to day, what's the uh, rate of ascent the 50-day moving average has had from its previous day? If it's below this line, that means you have a declining 50-day moving average. If it's above, it's uh, ascending. So thus, when you're above it and it's rising, this chart that is, then not only does that mean that the 50-day moving average is rising, but it's rising at a faster pace, whereas it was going below here from 0.6, close to 0%, it was a rising 50-day moving average on the verge of flattening out. We'll get more into that 50-day moving average and after this chart, really because that's the one that's below this and well I'm just uh, just talking weird weird wor weird words getting off of topic so getting back on topic this is the uh, direction from the 50-day moving average whenever you spend little time at this bottom that means it's extremely bullish and of course silver has been that when you look at it on the long-term time frame nothing here states that You'd want to buy using this indicator. I, what I like from seeing this is wait for this to break below 10% and then find a breakout uh, above this level. Now, as far as the daily chart is concerned, let me just uh, bring this up onto the uh, paint program. And within this, I want to talk about the 50-day moving average and the trend line associated within it resistance on several uh, many occasions and uh, when it came back up to this level a few months ago it got above it found level of support it dipped below it in here when the market uh, went to uh, the 25 low when it went below the 50-day moving average it was really nothing more than a pierce below it so we've had our lift off from this average but we haven't came back to it and find support if we come back to this moving average, come back to this trend line, that would be very, very healthy. This is why when I talk about or when other people talk about 
a move back to the 31, 32 level would be very healthy. We could come back down, maybe test this 50-day moving average as support because since it has lifted back above it, it has really had uh, no tests. And overall, this is the only test that the 50-day moving average has had since its big breakout, and it was that of a successful test. Now, moving on to the gold market, gold is pretty much consolidating mainly through time. If we take a look at this high, that's about 1445. The low is about 1310. So if we put in 1310 in here, and for that didn't work. Just give it a little bit of a second. Is it trying to auto save it on me? That's sometimes what these spreadsheets do is it's auto saving. There we go. Okay. So now the significant Fibonacci is 1375, 1350. Therefore, we've had pretty much one a nice successful test thus far here at 1380. We'll get more into this when we look at it on the hourly chart. As far as the uh, silver to gold ratio, not the gold to silver ratio, it's uh, finding some nice support at previous resistance. Once again, we'll take a look at this on the hourly time frame. And within the hourly chart, this is what uh, silver looks like over the last uh, five, six days or so. And uh, let me just bring this uh, image up again on paint. We're going to have uh, a failed breakout breakdown one way or the other now. Either this one or this one. Not too sure yet. Overall, it's been ranging between 34 and 34 and a half. With a few pierces a little bit above, a little bit below. But mainly, the range is, as I stated, this little period in here. It's now at the top part of it. But what would be a very bullish scenario is... You come up to a previous resistance point and you establish that of a higher low. Because now what this means is we're coming back up to 34.50 short term. And this does make it a little easier to get above it. What, we, what you really need to do is get above this level and come back to, to it as support and then continue within the uh, leg higher. But overall, very, very neutral to say the least. As far as this chart on the uh, line chart is concerned, let me put this one up in here too. The uh, blue line represents Fibonacci. The orange line represents Fibonacci. It's from this high. It's from this low. Therefore, you come back in here, find nice support. It comes up to this resistance area and breaks through it. Now, this is a major, massive pierce below. I was stating last Friday that a lot of people got uh, uh, so got their, excuse me, they had their stops taken out because they felt that, okay, maybe a break below here, I'm out. And that, like I say, got a lot of people out. This level was not resistance on the way up. On a bullish case, what you would have wanted to see was to come up to this level pull back and then lift higher instead it just bursted through so now at that point you're like okay this selling is that of a failure it gets above this five day moving average really breaks below it which is fine and where does it find support well it should have found support here that didn't happen since that breakdown that has kept us within this range of about uh, 33 and a half and 34 and a half but realistically you can even say from this level to this level because you find support at that Fibonacci level which needs to hold for this entire ra rally to not be a failure it uh, obviously held found resistance found support so thus we're now in the middle of this range very much neutral because when you're above this line, you're bullish. When you're below here, you're bearish. When you're in between, you are in a neutral state. Very much neutral right now. There is a declining five-day moving average. This is the green line. Five-day moving average is viewed by many different people. And it's a newly declining five-day moving average as it really started to roll over right in here. Therefore... If, of course, it comes and finds resistance 
comes back down to this level in here, you would really be looking for the a, a big wave lower, which would most likely be towards the 3250 level, all the way down even to the previous support level of about 3175. And if it uh, goes through the major moving average that it's supposed to have, meaning that it goes below it for a little bit and recaptures it, then that usually creates that of a fast move. Sort of like on that daily chart when it went below the 50-day moving average for a little bit and then burst above it. The same similar thing would occur within this type of market. So therefore, short term, over the last few days, we are in a bearish mode. We really got to get above this tra uh, trend line, get above the five-day moving average, see the five-day move moving average start to flatten out, and proceed higher to break it, and uh, that we get out of this bear market. Over the last, uh, well, since the start of this chart on the 22nd of February, the market is neutral. Neutral because it's still nicely above these lows, uh, somewhat below these highs and pretty much as I'm stating in betweening these uh, key points and on the long term time frame anything that's three months old five months old five years old 40 years old the market is obviously in that of a bullish trend as far as volatility is concerned the five day moving average on this is rising however the volatility has been reducing at the same point because if we draw a trend line from this level in here we can see that uh, we are not getting the same peaks that we were once getting before but at the same point we're not getting as many of these hits down below this these levels in here today as we were at the start of March and uh, whether we'll have a break out above it breaking this trend line that's uh, very very difficult to say for sure if that would happen moving on to gold we've seen on the uh, silver how it's been playing within those key fibonacci levels whereas gold it's uh, not the, it's it's a different case because uh, let me just make an image copy an image of this there we go because we've seen how we had an adjustment within these Fibonacci levels. Because originally the Fibonacci would, would handle this low and this high. And within this, found support on a bunch of occasions at this level, broke below it. A major pierce below in here, and then a major pierce back above. Now it didn't find that much of support here. It did find some, but when you find a little bit here, that's pretty common. But then bursting through, change the direction of these fib lines because instead of using this as the low, it would now use this level as the low. It's had a couple resistance hits there. It's currently testing it as resistance. Now, what's assuring on a bullish level is it's managed to find a higher low. Now, what would be ideal would be to uh, maybe come back down even towards this trend line and then come back to this area here which would make it easier to take it out because if you're trying to battle a key support resistance that you want to uh, go through the secret at least on an upward trend is to make the higher low and then get above it same rules apply within the five day moving average as it does within the uh, silver market as I was uh, pointing out and finally we're going to talk about the uh, gold to uh, silver ratio first, well, first off this is the uh, same gold chart but this is within candles. I wish that there was some, some way where I could add stuff like moving averages on a candle chart within the software, add uh, Fibonacci lines in here automatically. Unfortunately, I'm not able to. I uh, don't want to clutter this screen up too much, but I really can't add any more uh, different indicators on here because it's already cluttered enough as it already is. Finally, we're going to take a look at the uh, gold to uh, silver ratio. This, this is a reverse chart of the silver to gold ratio. So it's basically the gold to silver ratio. When you look at this, you can see obviously a green lines going lower or green bars going lower, red bars going higher. When you look at this, it really looks like a classic breakout market 
went down and here it's been consolidating sideways and since this point in here when it bottomed roughly around 790 which really translated to 39 to 1 ratio it's been testing the 760 755 level and making higher lows along the way so what we'll do is we'll uh, bring this chart back to uh, the way it's supposed to draw a straight line on this within the uh, paint program and then see where we go from there and this is the uh, this is a chart let's draw a straight line there we go previous resistance is now acting as support and on many many different occasions therefore if you are looking at this chart you got a descending triangle let me just get a straight line in here there's your descending triangle if you're looking at the gold to silver ratio then you would have the opposite of a descending triangle the opposite is an ascending triangle therefore you want to look to see which side that it breaks out you want to be careful that the first breakout isn't that of a trap I've seen that so many times where for example on this one here it breaks out to the upside okay so this market's going higher and then boom it's back in there and then the fall happens very often you get those failed moves but uh, whether it'll have that big move at the end of this uh, triangle pattern usually it does but not always thank you for watching this video and uh, check the blog for more information um, and that would be at approximately 5 15 5 20 p.m eastern and if it's already that time then the blog should already be updated. Thank you very much and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.